Okay, so let's try the art, length, and area of sector. So, first thing to discuss is the art length. So, what is the length of the art? We have this sector or central area. And what is the measure of the inscribed inscribed art? And so first, let's try to recall the the length or the circumference of the circle. So we all know that the circumference of a circle is. 2 by 2 by r so 2 by r is circumference of the circle so it means that is one revolution so that is 2 pi so 2 pi is equivalent to 360 degrees so at the word, the arc length, we're going to convert the angle. So let's use S as length of the arc. So let's symbolize S. And then, so this, since one revolution is 2 pi, and then if we're going to find the length of the arc. We just simply use the theta theta r. But make sure that the theta take note theta should be in region four. So the we're going to use now the formula s is equal to pi. R, pi, sorry, theta r or theta should be the degree measure of the angle but of course should be in region 4. Next, area of sector. So if we have a sector here, so this is a have a given theta. So what is the area of this? This is called the sector. Okay. So let's try an example. So number one, find the length of an arc of circle with radius 10 centimeter that subtends a central angle of 60 degrees okay so if we're going to draw a sector this is the sector and the central angle is 60 degrees so what is the arc length this one okay so we're going to use the formula s is equal to theta R. So, but take note, as what we said, that the angle should be in region form. So, if the theta is 60 degrees, if the theta is 60 degrees, so convert into region, so 60 times Pi over 180. So 16 pi over 180. Lowest term of 100 of 60 over 180 is 130 pi over pi over pi over 3. So the arc length is pi over 3 times the given radius is 10 
So we have 10 times pi is 10 pi over 3. So the unit is centimeter. So the length of the arc is 10 pi over 3 centimeter. Example number 2. Find the area of a sector of a circle with central angle 120 degrees if the radius is 3 meter. So, if you see in a circle, so we have 120 degrees. So, this is 60 or another 16. So, this is 120 degrees. So, what is the area of this portion of the circle? Okay, so the area of a sector is area is equal to one half of pi over r squared. So as one I said earlier, the angle the angle should be in convert into radian form. So the degree convert into radian. So the angle is 120. So we have 120 degrees. So convert to radian. So we have 120 degrees multiplied by pi over 180. So 120 pi over 180. So what is the lowest term of 120 over 180? That is 2 thirds pi. So we can use now in the formula, so we have 1 half of times, what is theta, that is 2 third by, 2 third by times the given radius, the radius is 3, so that is 3 meter, and then multiply, so cancel. pi the unit now is squared so the area of this sector is 3 pi n squared so that is finding the area of the sector so again so if the, the formula for our length is theta times r and if, the, if you're going to find the area of the sector one half of theta times r squared. And of course, they know that do not forget to convert the degree measure into region. Okay, so that's the way to find the arc length and area of a sector. So I hope you learned something, and of course. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. God bless.